Hey folks, Keith with 93 Lumber coming back at you with another beer. This is this is a new brewery, new-ish brewery. Uh, I know they I, they were brewing beers and stuff before this, and I think they did some collabs. Um, but they just opened their physical brewery on Friday. Today is Monday. Um, and uh, Matt from Massive Beers was going, and he asked me if I wanted to go. And I said yes. And so we went and I brought this back. Um, uh, it is a crowler of their Dark dark Horse, which uh, is black IPA. It is 8% alcohol by volume and it was crowlered on 324, which was Friday. And yeah, I was gonna, I was trying to get to this sooner, but it did not happen. So, yeah. Hopefully it's still good. Um, yeah. Should be. Clara, go away. Clara's pulling out the door. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, so the beers, as far as the beers that they had, uh, they were all pretty good. The pub ale was not good at all. It tasted like there was some sort of soap or something in it. Um, or there was like some sort of astringent sea or something. Um, but yeah, there's a touch of brown in that, but that is dark. Um, <clears throat> uh, that's, that? like, ooh. Roughly half a finger of mocha. I'll call that a mocha colored head. Maybe a maybe a touch darker than that. What I would consider mocha. Kind of reminds me of a Java chip frappuccino from Starbucks. But fuck Starbucks, because they're anti vegan. Or they I don't know. I'm not gonna get into it. Uh, yeah, so it looks good. Let's see what it smells like. I should say I have, I did have this at the brewery. I had a small pour. It was delicious. So let's see. Let's see what it smells like. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's a nice sweetness to that. There's almost like a, a pepper peppercorn kind of thing in that spicy there's a there's a sweetness thing in there as well kind of like a jam of some sort uh, grape grape jam grape jelly kind of thing or like a dark fruit jelly jam thing. Yeah. Smells smells good. Um Yeah. I don't know. Let's see what the head is weird. I don't know if I noticed that when I first poured it, but those those bubbles are tiny. Hmm. Interesting. I didn't notice that when I was there, and it, it, it is sticking to the glass pretty well. So, I think it is time to see what it tastes like. Cheers. Yeah, it's good. Um, there was something about it on draft, though. There was like a sweetness to it that I'm not really... I'm getting a little bit of it here, but it, it's it, not as much as I was, but it's also been in this can for three days. Right. Probably over three days. Well, yeah, because it's quarter after nine on a Monday. So, 
I picked this up at around like six, so it was probably crawlered in the morning. So it's like three and a half days old or whatever. Oh, I just got, I just got it a little bit more and that's it. Yeah, it's like blackberry jam or something. It's fucking good. And then this, that, <clears throat> the hoppiness doesn't come off as peppery in the taste. It's, it's more just, um, There's a, there's a little, there is a spiciness to it. Like a rye, maybe. But yeah. There's a nice bitterness to it. It's not too bitter. That sweetness kind of balances it out, but it's not too sweet to take away like the bite of it, <clears throat> but it is pretty smooth otherwise. Yeah, a little bit of like like a dark fruit marmalade thing going on in there. Mm. It tastes good. Um, yeah, but like, like I said, like pretty much everything they had was, it was either good or it was better than good other than that pub ale. Um, but, uh, yeah, it is. I will say this is a little like I like I kind of almost think they like use nitrogen to crowler this. It is a little thin for 8%. But there is like there's a very there's a very soft um I don't know if I want to say creamy or fluffy, cl cloud-like fluffiness to it, um, but a little thin. I don't know if you can hear my stomach. I ju I literally just ate, and, um, but uh, but yeah. Other than that, I'm excited to see what are the based on their based on first impressions. I'm I'm excited to see some of the other stuff that they're they're gonna do. Um. And, uh, and yeah, so auto, autodidact, I don't know if I said the name of the thing, autodidact, I think that's how it's pronounced, yeah, in Morris Plains, I think it is technically, um, yeah, so somewhat local-ish, they're like, I think they're like, there's a Trader Joe's over there that we go to. So it's not that much further from that. So local-ish. Um, yeah. So, uh, yeah, I'm trying to, trying to, is there anything I forgot? No. Yeah. Their address is on here. Moore's Plains. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I hope you're all doing well. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. You can like this. I almost said you can like this brewery. You can like this video if you'd like to. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. You can follow me on Instagram at 93lumber. That's spelled out. 93lumber. We will see you in the next